Hey, it's your girl Rocky B. And you already know, each and every Monday here at 100.9 FM is the rundown with your girl Rocky B. Today's show, insane. Packed house. We had Councilman Adam Fadden in the building. We have my boys Free Enterprise in the building. My girl Ariane Walker, the president of the Rochester West Indian Festival Association. And my boy AG, the motivator. Hard work pays off. I've been on the grind screen for no days off. Yeah. <laughs> Stay locked in. This show's going to be lit. Peace. Yeah. Uh. You already know. <laughs> Uh, hard work pays off. I've been on my grind screaming, no days off. I'm like, oh, no days off. I'm like, oh, no days off. Ah, uh, hard work pays off. I've been on my grind. Yeah. I bet when you heard that track, you didn't even know that person was local, huh? I bet you didn't know. It's my boy AG in the yeah, building. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, Mr. No Days Off. <laughs> I'm going to be real. I'm going to be real. When I heard this song on the radio, I was like, oh, okay, French Montana got a new song. <laughs> <laughs> I like, okay, French Montana. And then uh, I was told, like, yo, you know this guy? I was like, no, I don't know who that guy is. They're like, you know that song, No Days? I'm like, yeah, I'll be singing it. Uh -huh. Like, French Montana got a new hit. Uh -huh. You know, I'd be singing that song. And they're like, nah, that's him. Yeah. And that is so dope. I know a lot of people don't even know you are a local yeah, person. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Listen, <laughs> that track, I know it speaks to everyone, every right. demographic. Right, That's right. a fact. Right, right. So, Mr. No Days Off, uh -huh. tell us about yourself. Man, look. Look. I'm local. Yeah, I live right here in Rochester. Been yes. here for 10 years. But... I'm originally from North New Jersey. Okay, all right. Uh, so yeah, mm -hmm. a lot of people when they when they approach me about the song, they say like, "Bro, yeah, I, I just you don't sound like you from here. That's why I didn't pick up on it, right. you know, because your accent is different." And I said, "Yeah, because I mean, I mean, I've been here for a long time. This is my home, right?" But yeah, when you pick up on the accent, it's just that, it's just Jersey. So right, and this is saying. you, and th that song is you. If yeah, you yeah. Follow you on Instagram. This is what you're about. You know, you're about oh. motivating the people. Absolutely, all day long. All day. I couldn't just put. I tried to put my whole name, Anthony Grissett, but it wouldn't <laughs> let me on Instagram. So I came up with the AG, AG the uh, motivator. And most people, you know, because of my Instagram name, it's like, yo, AG the motivator. Right. So they just kind of just gave me that. You know what I mean? It's, I'm just really just AG. But if you call me AG the motivator and I motivate you in any way, you know what I'm saying? And that's that's what's up. You can get that. That's you know? what's yeah. up. Listen, yeah. yo, I'm so excited to be <laughs> here, man. Today is lit. I, had to I got AG, yeah. famous motivator. Like, yeah. this is crazy. So, what influenced you to make this track? Like, man, you know what's crazy? I was about to quit rapping because. And be a priest. <laughs> I, I, I mean, everybody it. tell me that. When they say, when they hear me speak, they be like, yo. When you speak, you just make me feel like I need to get up and do something right, right now. Right. And um, it's just been a natural thing for me. You know what I'm saying? A God-given gift that I really don't have to work at. Work at. I just speak, and, and that's what it is. So right. a lot of people would tell me, like, yo, bro, you need to take this seriously and, like, use your gift to help people, bro. Right. Well, be because it really does help people. So that's why I went down the lane of motivational rap, because I used to just do regular rap. You feel mm -hmm. me? And, um... It just really didn't resonate with people the way I thought it could or should. Right. You know what I mean? And I picked up my first motivational book called Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. And that just kind of changed the way I thought about it, changed the way I approached music. And I had a real paradigm shift. So I said, let me just bring the music and the motivation together mm -hmm. and let's see what happens. Right. And when I got when I got to a dark space and a dark place when I felt like I wanted to give up, I was like, nah, man, no days off. Mm -hmm. And I came up with the song, man, like I threw on the beat and I just basically put my heart in the lyrics and people felt it. Right. You know I mean, it's what it is, what it is. That's a fact. <laughs> I, I, I feel, I'm feeling you right now. Like, girl, please, I feel like, you know, you about to change my life. Like, you're taking my soul. <laughs> <laughs> so who produced this track? So you created this beat, you produced this track? Nah, I don't I do not do beats at all. I went on SoundClick, mm. <laughs> and I went and I uh, found it on uh, Platinum Sellers. Okay. And I found it, and I said, as soon as I heard the beat, I already knew. I was like, yo, I'm going in on this. Right. And um, I went to Blue on Blue. I don't know if y'all know uh, know about his studio, but uh, Mark Webster, Blue on Blue. Um, not really a hip hop dude. He mostly classical music, but he he do he do a little dabble in hip hop. And I've been working with him for a few years now. Mm -hmm. And uh, we went in there, and I said, "Yo, this is what I want to do." And he caught the vision, 
And there you go. There you go. <laughs> and then the rest is history. Yeah, rest is and history. And this song is spinning on 105. Man. Crazy. How Yo, this show was mad love. Listen, how did you even get it? Because a lot of uh, local rappers complain mm-hmm. that the city don't show our rappers mm-hmm. love. And you're getting a lot of love right now. How, yeah, did you yeah, even, yeah. how did you even get to that level? How did you get them to spin your track like I that? I ain't know nobody. They put out a call on Facebook and say, all local artists, submit your tracks. Mm-hmm. And I just did it. Mm-hmm. A few weeks later, they hit me like, yo, we're about to play this. We love the track. Right. So I said, do it. And then once they started spinning it, people started reaching out to them like, yo, who is this No Days Off dude? Right. And they was telling them, nah, it's Fetty Wap. No. Now, that's not Fetty Wap. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. French that's French not. That. <laughs> <laughs> so it, the response was so overwhelming by just people hit sliding their DMs like, yo, who is this dude? Right. That the owner of the station reached out to me like, yo, bro, people got to know who you are because they keep hitting me up asking me who you are. I need to meet you, too. So he called me and was like, yo, slide up to the hotel. I'm in town for a week. We're going to meet. I want to do something on Facebook so people know who you are so they know that you're local. And because, you know, the station want people to know that they support local music, too. Right, right. It that, is, yeah. That, so yeah. that's how it happened. And that's not that is the quality of the work. You know? Yeah, they told me that too. They said, quality. yeah, they said the the production, the sound was just it was just right. So it was just right, exactly. Because yeah. you know you could tell if something was just made in the local trap house. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you say, gotta drop that bag. Get that's that why I didn't think it was local. That, that, that is trap house. Huh? Yeah. What you know about the trap house? Wait, over the trap, the band though. <laughs> <laughs> it don't sound like a bando track. That thing sounds like French. <laughs> and I'm Shout gonna keep to saying, I'm gonna keep saying that. Yo. I love your music. I love what you stand for. Um, if you don't follow him on Instagram, please follow him. Ag the motivator. Yeah, yeah. He'll get you up and out and ready to to conquer the world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Matter of fact, where you at? I don't care where you at right now. Stop right now. If you drive and pull over, uh-huh. pull up Instagram. Follow me at Ag the motivator right now. Right now. Bang bang. Bang. Yeah, let's get it. Oh, oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> you know, his well, energy, energy is crazy. <laughs> and listen, you, you, you're married. Yes, I am. So, ladies, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, <laughs> ladies. I know, I know. I had to throw that out there because I know a lot of you going to slide in the DMs. But he <laughs> is married, all right? <laughs> so I had to put that out there. You know, to your wife because you know how Rochester get down. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, thank you for coming through, man. You gonna yeah, stick around? Yeah. We got some talking to do. You, yeah, you, you heard Cardi B album? No, nah, I ain't hear it yet. Oh, but I mean, I like the Body Air joint. Of course, the the first one that that smash, you know, the bloody shoes and all that. That was dope. I like her. I like. Her. I think she dope. I think she dope. You gotta listen to we'll the see album. Where she go. Yeah, we gonna do that. You definitely yeah. gotta listen to the album. Yeah, I might. I might go into it a little bit. Yeah, come on. I like. It just keep. You just keep playing it because you, you play always start over because it's so good. Nah, she does because I can't kind of like. Oh, okay. so she. Was, I heard one. One on the drop. You got over. some. You got some Cardi. Oh, yeah. You got her, his, yeah. her new. Her new stuff. Yeah. Oh yeah, we gonna we gonna play some Cardi. But before we get into some Cardi, yeah. all right, I got my boys from Free Enterprise. Am I right? There you go. There you go. It's on now. It's on uh-huh. now. Talk. You hear me? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here you are. Yeah, you got it correct. Yeah. Brothers are free and prize. Yeah, I go. I may. Oh, 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 we in. We you got it. You got it. You got it. You know what I mean? You got to explain. Well, you know, where I go, they may follow. No. <laughs> That's what I mean. <laughs> so, so, so the whole, the whole I go, I may thing um, comes about just for crowd control. You know, I go me. Asking the crowd, you know, are you ready to receive? And the crowd responds back, I may. Mm-hmm. You ready to receive it? Then at that point, you're supposed to be quiet and be ready to hear what's coming next. Okay. So it's like crowd control, really. I go. I may. I may. And then you just, you know, you're ready to receive. I may go where I may go. Yo, you, this, that voice right here is Mr. Norman Simmons. Yes. Correct? Yes. Um, One of the founders of. Um, one of the brothers of Free Enterprise. Oh, they're bro- You see? And I want everybody brothers. else to introduce themselves while we all here, the ones that's here. Okay, introduce yourselves, gentlemen. I'm Vinny, uh, I'm brother Free Enterprise. Okay. Anthony, Anthony, brother of Free Enterprise. All right, Anthony. And I'm Shamel, brother of Free Enterprise. Mr. Black Life. You heard it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> So tell, tell us what free enterprise, what, what is free enterprise? It's not a fraternity. Nah, it's not a fraternity. Uh, free is it's, it's more of a brotherhood. So there's eight individuals we came together 
um, nine individuals, I'm sorry, and we have a lot of the same common goals. And so we came together just to do different things, whether it's in the community, whether it's events, uh, like the one we have coming up, don't hold your applause, uh, just to bring different people together and bring those good vibes back to Rochester. Right. Uh, because we are in a position now to bring those vibes, and it's up to us. We didn't that generation. So we taking we taking the um, initiative to kind of do that. Right. You know, you ain't always got to come out and have a good time and be partying and getting sloppy drunk. You come around good vibes, listen to some good poetic justice type of, you know, you know, all that, all that's good stuff, man. And it's essentially good to the soul. You know, one thing we kind of take honoring is holding each other accountable. Right. All of us have strong personalities, you know, nine black alpha men you know yeah so it was hard for us to even come to the point of holding each other accountable and i think we do a real good job of that and that's what we lack in our community black men holding each other accountable yeah so how did you guys even come together like um so most, childhood friends yeah yeah we, we we grew up or on clinton avenue most of us are in five village our projects okay um, oh, okay. Yeah. Well, you sound like a real conscious brother, so you won't even. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, so. So he, he's from the fight. Man. So, so, so a lot of people know what that is, but we kind of like family. You know, we not like most neighborhoods in Rochester. Mm -hmm. My grandma yeah. lived in Five Village. His grandma lived in Five. Anthony's grandma lived in Five Village. Chamel's mom lived in Five Village. Five Village. So we like a family. We all grew up together. Um. So it's, it's deeper than rap. It's more than just a name. We right. actually family, but. You know that's I know that's all I'm gonna say. Okay, so wait, okay, so it's called Fight Village. Listen, I'm not from Rochester, so why is this place called Fight Village? It's an is it acronym? Yeah, it's an acronym that the city gave to it to begin with, and then we'll just pick it up. Yeah, I don't know. Oh. Yeah, I don't know. I don't remember. It, it came about around like civil rights time, so okay. it was, it was okay. really on the on the boards on the stand signs that says Fight Village. It's an acronym. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. So I, so yeah, not what yeah. I, not what I thought. Yeah, yeah. So it actually, it actually for something good back, back in the right, day for okay. civil rights. You know, as time went on, times change. Mm -hmm. Different stuff is associated with the term. You know, right, you know, right. So, but it's deeper than what it is. You know? Yeah, I guess you guys are very just talking to you as you're a very deep brother, right? <laughs> you make your presence known. Educated. You guys went to college. Right. Appreciate that. So uh, it's a bunch of us that went to college. So it's about like three or four degrees. And you guys monsters. are clean. Yeah. Clean guys. You guys are sharp. Don't come on. Don't be modest. <laughs> Say what it is. You guys are clean. You did a photo shoot. Yeah. Everyone got their fashion sense. Mm -hmm. You know. So how did you even like? How did you go from? I'm assuming like growing up in the streets to actually adapt into this mentality. Like. Um, for me, I, I'm pretty much for my brothers as well. It's kind of like either. You become a part of your environment and you make your product, your environment a product of you, mm. you know? So mm, going back and be able to go back into your environment, the same person just with a different mindset, that's powerful. So that's where we at. We still where we at. We right. still in our neighborhood, but we just not in the same capacity as we was 10 years ago. Right, right. You know, we actually trying to make movement and make change. So nobody not going to tell us that we're not going to do that, oh. how we're trying to do it. You know, so that's that's been pretty much where we're coming from. You know, um, we know where we are. We know where we're going. We know how people look up to us, how people admire us. So we're aware of that. So how we move kind of like tailors towards that. Right. You right. know, we don't want to say one thing on this show, then go out in the neighborhood, do a whole total different thing. That ain't how we how we do things. You know, of course it's trial and error. Of course we still learning, but for the most part, we adapted to our environment for the better. Right. You know, we made it positive. You know, so. Okay. It's great for these black young men to do what you guys are doing. Yeah. You guys do events. Yes. So yes. poetry. Yes. That's nobody here looks like they do poetry. <laughs> 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 I'm gonna say that nobody can see them, but nobody do poetry like like what? Roses are red. Oh, no. come on. Books are blue. Like, <laughs> 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 nobody looks like they do poetry. I'm just keeping it real. <laughs> <laughs> poetry is more or less a form of hip hop. So like everybody, right. everybody right. say poetry, but the, the right. first form of poetry was hip hop. Right. Okay. So it's like even going down to James Brown. James yeah. Brown did a form of hip hop, which was poetry. Okay. So it's you know, poetry okay. just. I don't like I don't like how I'm being a, uh, how I'm being jumped. Now, okay. Right. I don't like how I'm being jumped. It's become an right. every week. <laughs> I get jumped every right. week. Right. So what what motivated you guys to do these these particular events mm -hmm. and not like the look the the common you know club parties? You uh, know, again, yeah, like when we were all sitting together, we wanted to think of different stuff to bring people together, smile, have a good time without partying. 
And one thing we kind of came upon was poetry. Mm -hmm. And what we wanted to do with that is kind of give people for the, a platform. It's a big poetic uh, population in Rochester. So we kind of wanted to tap into that, get them the platform to express themselves with their poetry. Right. You know, we started off at Clarissa's, shouts out to Funk. Okay. Um, now we over at Funk and Waffles, where it's another. Oh, so it got so big. It's a bigger event, yeah, you know, okay. and um, each show is tailored towards a certain theme. Right. So this show is a. Uh, this show on Saturday. This show is this Sunday. Sunday. This April Sunday. 15th. Yep, April 15th. It's called um, Don't Hold Your Applause, Familiar Strangers. Okay. And with each show is a different concept where the poets kind of embrace that into their poems. Okay. So this theme is Familiar Strangers. I don't give too much away. Should come to the show to find out who will be there, right? Mm, actually, I'm going out of town. You're going to be out of town? I'm going to be out of town. I don't I'm think you far caught far one yet, right? I haven't caught one yet. So you you know can't what? even talk about the good vibes on your show, Listen, man. Listen, why is everybody jumping me? <laughs> 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 I got to get another female in here. <laughs> no, but I really love what you guys represent. I mean, you got to... I'm, I'm, I don't know. I'm speechless right now because this is, this is great. Like, this is history in the making right here. And... um Everybody in here is clean. You guys are clean cut. Have some, is this another? Yeah, yeah. Introduce yeah. yourself. This is like a reunion in here. Hi, sir. What's going on? Is brother Biscuit on the mic? Brother Biscuit. <laughs> Shout out to my brother Justin. He also is a uh, brother of Free Enterprise. Um, so again, like. You guys, I'm sorry, but you guys do community service as well. Yeah. Correct? Um, so this past, what, was it last Sunday? Past Sunday? Saturday. Saturday. We actually put together a good community event and also a baby shower for our late friend. He passed away, but he, had, he has a baby on the way. So we actually were able to put together a community event and also a baby shower for him as well. It turned out perfect. It turned out pretty well. Um, it was wonderful. Lots of gifts, lots of people. Um, we did something around Christmas where we did something at Baby Street. We gave a lot of, away a lot of gifts. Um, little girls got their nails done, kids got their hair cut. Um, Halloween, we gave away like 100 pumpkins and gift baskets. Um, so we're really true to this, you know. Both Bags Express been around seven plus years. Every August before school, September, give away hundreds of book bags of kids. Um, Anthony Hall is actually a founder of Book Bags Express here. So we actually really true to this, you know. And we're, we're still building on different ways to kind of like bring it all together where it's a kind of more of a collective, more of an impact change. Right. Not just an event for this month and then right. everybody forgets about it. Now we connected 12, you know, 12 months out of the year, you know, so just be uh, at our Facebook page, Free Enterprise 585 and look out for our community events that we have coming up. So can people, can like a, another, like a brother right now listening to this, can he get involved with the group or he has to go to initiation process? What's, going, what's up? Oh, it's initiation? He like, yeah. Of, of, Don't of course, lie. it has to be an initiation process because anybody can. I know how to dress, right? Uh, not so much. It, it, of course, anybody can say they want to be with something because it's good. Right. And tell us anything. You know, but we all we gotta we gotta check everybody background, even people that we know. You know, it's people that walk up to us that wanna you know, that's not a that bad thing right. that we're turning away, they just have to show and tell. Right. There's nothing wrong with proving yourself and showing commitment. So come around, even though you ain't involved, come to our events. It ain't no it ain't more so like no fraternity, we secretive, it ain't about that. We work with everybody. We yeah, got probably looking for individuals with a certain kind of character. Yeah, yeah. Carry themselves a certain way, right. certain mindset. Oh, yeah, you trying to get down. Yeah. Yeah. It's I'm already, I'm in the brotherhood, man. Yeah. 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 See, you feel me? You see, <laughs> and you see how you responded to everything I just said. Right. Just people yeah. like that. There's other people that you say that to, oh, you don't want me a part of that? Well, well, you know they take it in the wrong type of manner where we're trying to just be, protect what we have. We're trying to protect our brand, you know, protect ourselves, you know. So we got to be real cautious right. of who we actually be open to. Okay, well, I'm going to uh, sign up to be a first lady of uh, Free Enterprise. <laughs> all right, and uh, y'all not going to turn me down. That's a fact, okay? I dress well. <laughs> I'm down for the community. <laughs> I know a little poetry, you know, roses are red and all that good stuff. So y'all not going to turn me down, but I love what you guys are doing. You going to stay for a little while? Yeah, you don't forget we got the two tickets to give away. We got the two tickets to give away. Yeah, oh, yeah. we got to call in. The call in number is 219-8889 if you want to win these free tickets to their poetry event this Sunday. Yep, don't hold your applause. Don't hold Familiar your applause. Strangers, 6 to 10 show starts at 7. Black and white dress code. 
contestants. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. So y'all making people dress a certain way? Yeah, yeah. Y'all come, y'all okay. Come we did what we did. We did ugly Christmas sweater. We did black all gold. black. Black and red we did black and red for Valentine's Day. You know, just give people and, a dip, and die shiki for the Black History Month Minority Report. Okay. Um, just get something people something to look forward to. You know? right. Switch it up a little bit. Okay, I respect mm -hmm. it. I respect it. Well, stay with us. We got the boys from Free Enterprise. We got my boy AG the Motivator. Yeah, yeah. We have Ariane Walker, the president of the Rochester West Indian Festival Association, in the building. About to give away some tickets to. Don't hold your applause and spring bling. I know you heard about that spring bling concert. Jeez. Stay locked in. You should go rock and beat. You switch the tickets. Oh, you see, they get, they get back to the hood real quick. <laughs> it's a girl, Rocky B. Stay locked in. is a rundown. Carla, are you there? Oh, yeah. Thank you for calling the rundown. Who is this? This is Erica. One second, Erica. Erica, we can't hear you, baby. Hold on, I got you. Is it working out? She should be on here. Erica, are you here? Yeah. Oh, well, there you go. There you go. Oh, you excited. You are excited. Why are you so excited? Oh, yes, honey. I need food. What? You got up there and food in. Oh, you know what? Oh, you know what? What, what tickets you trying to win? <laughs> you know what, Erica? It's not gonna be that easy for you, okay, Erica? It's not gonna be that easy for you. All right. So I need you to name all the artists that's gonna be a part of Spring Bling, and I'm telling you, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. I need you to name all twelve artists. It's sixteen. Oh, I try to cheat you. All sixteen artists is gonna be a part of Spring Bling. You got 30 seconds. Oh, you don't. Oh, man. How you going to want to go somewhere? How you want to go? You don't know who's going to be there. 16 listen here. Audience cam. Uh-huh. Play lines in my head right now. Um, I uh -huh. Let me see. Uh huh. You got. You got. You got ten seconds to start. All right. Let me. Ask, let me ask a quick question. Okay. Ask her a quick question. What's the name of the <laughs> old, on, on the spring bling? What's the name of the only female artist and name her song? Ooh. 10, 9. The name of the only female artist. Oh my God. 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Um, everybody's happy. Better luck next time. Good night. <laughs> The president of the Rochester West Indian Festival Association. Ooh, Ariana, what's up? No, 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 I'm going, Rocky. Oh, not in a work one. <laughs> she done told me to hold another cup. Right, I wasn't right. ready. I wasn't ready. So, what's up with Spring Bling? Spring Bling is Spring Bling. Like, Saturday is about to be crazy. And we got tickets out still. If you're still looking for tickets, it's at all of the nine locations on there. So, whether you in any part of Rochester, you can get any tickets within five miles from you. So, it's going to be crazy. It's going to be crazy. crazy. You can get tickets by calling in right now. 219-8889. That's the number. 219-8889. It's not going to be easy for you. We have some questions for you. So, don't be calling in like, ah, oh, I want these tickets. Nah, we're not going to make it that easy for no, them, no. huh, Ariane? No. Not at all. <laughs> not at all. So, people want to know, are all the artists coming? Absolutely. All of the artists on both of the flyers are coming. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's two flyers. Two, yeah. You we can't forget get the after party. party. <laughs> no, we couldn't fit everybody. You got, you got the actual Spring Bling concert and then we're doing an all-girl promotion party at Funkin' Waffles. Yo, that's so that's it's definitely dope. Be like, we have a girl DJ all the way from Jamaica. She's on Zip yeah. FM. Her name is EJ Spark. She's coming in the shell. The place is going crazy. Oh, yeah. She's wicked. Oh, she's Yo, that right there is going to be entertainment. And I have oh, for right. a female DJ? And she's they call crazy. them ZJs. Zip yeah, jocks. Right? Zip jocks. Yeah. Zip, yeah. Zip jocks. Yes. Oh, yes. Well, we got a caller on the line yeah. right now ready to win these tickets. Caller, are you there? I'm here. Oh, yeah. So you want to win tickets for for what? For Spring Bling, of course. For Spring Bling, of course. <laughs> All right. And your name? This is Shakia Rocky. Oh, look at Hi, Shakia. Hey. Okay. 
Thanks, Shakia. The Wendy's tickets. We have a question for you, right? What's the question we got? Stunt, you good with these questions? Yeah, what's the question? We gotta. She sounds. She, she sound like. She sound like she know. She know about. Um. She know about. No, we gotta make her yeah. sing something. Oh yeah. All we gotta right. make her sing a what, what song? Um. Come on, I'm trying to. I'm trying to win these tickets for my little cousin. So. Nah, nah, don't, 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 don't try, try to make to me get, feel bad. No, right. Don't try to do that. Don't try to do that. All right. I'm going into a different type. I'm going to Soka. You know Soka? No. <laughs> 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 you know what? I'm gonna have you sing one of the songs from one of the artists. One of my favorite artists is on the list, Conscience. If you know a song by Conscience, okay. Right, give me a second. I'm, I'm gonna get a Conscience song. Let me see if she knows. If she could finish the line. And and this is just off the top of my head. So if you don't know this song, I don't know what to tell you. Oh. This song you got. Yeah. I don't see a girl is sing them take up. All of my baby myself in 20, you them can't catch up. Marky say, the girl says she want me for my. I can't hear you, I can't hear you. Uh, <laughs> Wait, you don't know the song? Wait, you know what? You know what? Let, 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 let me try it. We need you to sing a what song we got from Conscience. Okay, we gonna oh oh oh. Why should just hang up right hang now up. for you saying that? <laughs> okay, one we gonna play one more song for you. You gotta finish. You gotta sing along. All right. You better know this song. If you don't know this song, you going home. This make your feet like the neck. This make your feet. Oh, 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 you just like the vibe. Oh, you just hear it. You know what? But that's not gonna work for right. these tickets. I'm gonna try one more. We're gonna try one more song. And, this, and if you don't know this one, you can't even go. You don't even deserve to even be in the building. Mm. Even if you say Nikki Nikki Park. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Let me hear you, Shakia. Slow. Shakia? Shakia. <laughs> Shakia. Oh, that would be awesome. Thank you. All right. Oh, so you you calling to win some tickets to Spring Blink, correct? Yes. And your name is Liz. Liz. Okay, Liz. Do you know you know reggae? I'm gonna just ask you right now. Or soca. <laughs> Do you know any reggae or soca songs? I know some reggae songs, not all of them. Oh. All right, I'm going with the easiest song. I'm going to give you an easy song. You got to sing along. I'm going to start from the beginning. You ready? Yeah. Yeah, I can sing along to you. I can't hear you. All right, Liz, you just won yourself a ticket to Spring Bling. Stay on the line, get your information, okay? Okay, thank you. All right, thank you for calling. Oh yeah, it is hot right now on the Run Out With Your Girl Rocky B each and every Monday here 100.9 FM from 4 to 6. We got our final caller, well I hope is our final caller on the line to win this last Spring Blink ticket. Caller, are you on the air? Hello, caller. I'm here, I'm here. Oh, oh, okay, all right, all right, girl. <laughs> all right, so I need you to win this last ticket. You got to answer this question for me, you got to do what I say, okay? I like how that sounds. Do what I say. All right? So, yeah. the lineup, there's only one female artist in the lineup. What's her name? And you got to sing her song. What is the name of the trophy? How does it go? You are what? Who trophy? Hey! Hey! hey. hey. <laughs> <laughs> Blood 
fly off. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, all right, all right. You got that right, and you got that ticket. And your name? Can I get your name? Sarah, Sarah. If I do. All right, Sarah, we're gonna yeah, put it's going down. It's going down. Now. You gonna show out? Yeah. All right, you need to. You need to have to win these tickets. You better show out. <laughs> yeah. All right, stay on the line. We get your information, okay? All right. Hey, we only got what seven more minutes. You guys can stop calling me unless you want to win some tickets to uh, don't hold your applause. We got some more tickets to give away. But my girl Ariana is in the building. The president, her new position, the president of the Rochester West Indian Festival Association. Your connection with the Spring Bling. She's the one giving away the tickets, so don't harass me, okay? Look her up on Facebook, Ariana Walker. <laughs> Uh, Ariane, what else you got going on? I know you were in charge of Carafest. Yes. Carafest yes. last year was amazing. You guys won best event at the Rock Awards. Yes, thank you to all. Well deserved. Did. Well deserved. So what you got lined up for Carafest? Who, who else we got? Who we got? Who we got Carafest? coming for Carafest? Yes. Can't tell you. Yeah, she got it. You guys got excited too, right? Yeah, I know. We got a couple artists confirmed already. Um, it's gonna be a great show, even bigger and better than last year. But um, some people that people want to see, you know. Um, sorry, not all of the artists can't come because not all of them have visas. But you know, <laughs> oh, this is a real, this is a real car fest. Real you know. But it's gonna be Saturday, August 11th. You know, we're gonna have tickets coming out soon, so might even be giving away a pair of t um, tickets at Spring Green. If um, um, let's see, we're gonna have a table there, so make sure you guys stop at the table, get some free raffles. You Can know, we get some tickets here on the rundown? For Caravan? Yeah. Of course. Ooh. Of course. Ooh. Yo, my line is blowing up. Listen. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> we got a link up with an event one day. Oh, yeah. yeah oh, yeah, that'd be tough. Caravan is it's amazing. So you can't give us one artist that's gonna be there. One artist that you think. One Allegedly. <laughs> friend of mine so i'm just gonna it's say a good that. friend now I'm if you follow her <laughs> on social media you know who her good friend is yeah so let's just say that it's a good friend of mine is coming for care for this year and how many people you think how many artists you think we're gonna have this year we have a lot we have a lot a good amount of artists a good amount there's gonna be stretch between 90s reggae all the way up to new reggae oh can't boom, forget boom, that soap until you know we got a yeah. oh, <laughs> yes. oh yeah that's gonna be lit i'm gonna be here for that oh yeah can i can i can i host it Ooh. Rocky V hosting Carefest 2018. Ooh. Ooh, sounds nice, we need right? to sign a petition. <laughs> 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 we need to sign a petition. Need a thousand <laughs> we need a thousand signatures that have Rocky V host Carefest. Yeah. Now listen, Spring Bling is this weekend, April 14th, Saturday. Yep, yeah. and then the after party is right after the show. Right up, and you have artists at the after party. Oh, yeah, four artists at the what show. Is, yeah. What are you doing, Ariane? What are you what doing? Are you Rochester crazy. deserves a show like this. She's backing that money truck up. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> we don't talk about that. I'm gonna call you Bricks from now on. Because I'm kind of artist, man. You got Cecile coming to the after party? Yeah, Tiffa, W Magnum, Stussy Price, there's a whole bunch of them coming. Jeez, you have tickets yeah. for the after party? Oh, yeah, I do have tickets for that. You have that ticket? You think we can give away a ticket? You want to give away two tickets to a caller? Yeah, for to a caller. We gonna light those lines again. Light those lines up. If you didn't get a ticket for Spring Bling, get a ticket to the after party. Call in right now. Two one nine eight 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 nine is the run out with your girl Rocky B. I have any everybody who's anybody in the building right now. It is hot in here. Yeah. <laughs> it's hot. It is hot. Okay, so Ariane. Stay locked in. You gonna stay with us? Of course. We giving away tickets. We giving away tickets right now. Two one nine eight 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 nine. Call in. It's a rundown. Here at the rundown with your girl Rocky B. It's been a great show. Great, great show. Gave away tickets. It's a spring bling. If you missed out, I'm sorry. But if you would like tickets to the after party, please hit up Ariane Walker. The first two people to hit up Ariane Walker. All right. Get two tickets. <laughs> to the after party for Spring Bling. This is what I'm doing for y'all, okay? This is what we do here at The Rundown, all right? But thank you guys for tuning in. We are out of time. It's 38 degrees outside, but it feels like 80 right here in the studio. It is hot. I got everybody who is anybody right here with me. Man, each and every Monday, listen to The Rundown, 100.9 FM. I got a question. What? What's the Instagram? Who's Instagram? 
so, so I could get the tickets. Oh, her right. Instagram? Um, oh, yes. um, Miss World Boss. World Boss. <laughs> Boss. Miss World Boss. Hit her up on Instagram or on Facebook. The first two people to hit her up get free tickets to the after party, the spring bling after party this Saturday. Also on Sunday, we got oh, Don't Hold the Applause, Poetic Justice type vibe, uh, free enterprise. My boys was rocking with me. And y'all just let me fumble that. And I say that ain't nobody help me out. It's okay. I see how it is. I see how it is, man. Come on. Stay with me. Each and every Monday here at the Rundown 100.9 FM. Thank you for tuning in. Peace.